Good science to you. This is Blair Bazdrich for This Week in Science, coming to you from Aquarium of the Bay on Pier 39 in San Francisco. Let's go inside, see some fish, and talk about some science news. What's happening? What's happening this week in science? The olfactory portion of a shark's brain is very large compared to other portions of it. Um, so a shark's sense of smell is vitally important in terms of its ability to track prey. Uh, shark's nares, or what we consider nostrils, are just constantly picking up different chemical cues in the water, so as they swim, they're, um, they're tracking prey all the time with their sense of smell. A new study published in Global Change Biology has shown that more acidic oceans could affect a sense of smell in sharks. Researchers at the School of Biology at the Georgia Institute of Technology in Atlanta tested how changing carbon dioxide concentrations in pools of water affects the responsiveness of smooth hound sharks to the odor of squid, which is one of their favorite foods. It could maybe dilute their ability uh, to sense prey items, which kind of makes sense if you think about air quality in terms of water quality. If uh, air quality is bad, it affects people's sense of smell and, and how they can perceive their environment. So it makes sense that as uh, chemicals change in the water, it would affect the shark's ability to smell. The researchers looked at three different carbon dioxide concentrations. Today's levels, projected mid-century levels, and the projected levels of 2100. Under present day water conditions and projected mid-century levels, sharks adjusted their position to spend more time where the squid smell was. That was more than 60% of their time in the smell. But sharks from the most acidic pools spent less than 15% of their time in the plume of smelly squid smell. Sharks in the highest concentration were significantly less voracious, even though their activity levels didn't vary, which means that acidic water caused the sharks to suffer a sudden malaise, one could say, towards their food. Sharks are critically important to the ocean food web. If a shark was unable or if sharks are unable to track and uh, take prey down with efficiency, then you're going to have sick and diseased individuals are going to proliferate or be able to transmit disease a lot faster. Uh, you're just going to have some populations of fish possibly uh, grow out of control and then the whole food web basically destabilizes. When we burn fossil fuels to get around or power our electronic gadgets, carbon dioxide gets released into the atmosphere, but some of it also gets absorbed into the ocean and mixes with water to raise the acidity. If oceans reach the projected levels of acidity in 2100, these top aquatic predators could be in trouble. To add to the shark's troubles, Another study out of the University of Gothenburg, Sweden, found that spotted cat sharks greatly altered their usual nighttime swimming routine when in acidic water. This could be due to a neural impact, or they could have just been searching desperately for less acidic waters where they're more comfortable. Either way, bad news for the sharks. If an animal needed uh, more food but was also stressed more by its environment and couldn't locate or track food better, yeah, that's, uh, that's a one-two punch that would definitely have an effect on populations. So, what can you do to reduce the threat of ocean acidification on sharks and ocean ecosystems? Any step we take to reduce carbon emissions can help. Leave a comment or tweet me, at Blair's Menagerie, to let me know how you are going to make a difference in slowing down the rising acidity of our oceans. Even though this study was conducted in the Atlantic, the implications are definitely um, worldwide and very much a concern to our populations here in San Francisco Bay. This has been a Twist Short. You can find more shorts and regular length Twist episodes and subscribe to us at youtube.com slash thisweekinscience. Follow us on Twitter or Tumblr at Twist Science or you can check out twist.org for more info. Thanks for watching. I'm Blair Bazdurch reminding you that those sharks we saw are all in your head.